welcome back to another episode of the thing, the RPG, Cisco's RPG Adventure thing. I think I've improved the FPS. <clears throat> I have done some things to hopefully improve it. That's a lot of... Oh, because of flying fish. Well, okay, well, unfortunately there's not a whole lot I can do. I can turn the render distance mount down more. If I do that like this. But then that happens. And like, it's running better. But, no. No. So 5, and if it gets unplayable, I'm just gonna have to X this uh, mod pack. But I did take a moment and read. I made another chest, and I threw some pork chop in the furnace. And I also took a moment to read through. <coughs> Not all of the books, but I did read through some of them. The first one I read through was the Runic Grimoire. It's got, there's like runes and stuff, and there's unique weapons and stuff like that. But the one I'm super interested in is this one. Ars Nuevo. I've never messed with Ars Nuevo, but, and I'm probably not even saying that right, but what I do know from reading the book is that this is essentially like Ars Magica from uh, a mod a long time ago. I love that mod. It was one of my favorite mods of, uh, actually it was my favorite magic mod of all time. So, definitely interested in getting into that. But first, like I said last episode, I need to get started mining. But before we do that, I can go ahead and start adding stuff from here. So, let's see. These are my starting points. Okay, I thought these were my starting points, but these are my starting points. Huh. More mob blue, huh? I don't know if this will lock this, but I want these two. Because I was looking through this, not entirely. It's a lot here. But I was looking through this before, while I was doing some stuff. Connects to Astral Gateway. Was it connect to the... Oh. That's cool. But, um, I want to get this, and I want to get this. I want to get these two lines. This makes it so my food does better. Like, I can get more health regeneration from my food. Food restores health. That just seems great because of healing. And this just seems great because this goes down a line of... I don't like that there's projectile. I would much rather have melee damage. But, like, I, I ain't gonna lie. I, I ain't seeing it. Like, oh, here we go. Crafted melee weapons. Okay. So if I want that, I'll have to go here. Alright, well, I want this. That. Mobs get more loot. That sounds great to me. Oh, did it pause the game? Oh, it pauses the game while I'm in here. And then stats. Does nothing. It seems. But. I need to go mining. And. There's another thing I would like. Just go ahead and get rid of all this. Another thing I would like is a backpack. But, I don't have any string at the moment. So, it's just gonna have to, uh... Just gonna have to wait. We are, however, going to real quickly run to the village. Because the village maybe has some string. But also there's... I kind of want to take a poke around at the villagers to see if there's any that I really want to uh, trade with. Also, I want all of these. I didn't loot it last time. But now... Now I can stop ADDing so hard. And I can really start focusing on this. It does seem to be running a little better. 
though it still got pretty bad lag spikes. Like right there, right there. So I, I can only imagine it'll get worse as I go through and fight actual you're gonna keep planting. Um actual creatures and stuff. But for now I'm over here looking for string also. You oh an engineer. Oh interesting. That ain't worth it. But like as far as if you just try to get this using this trade, that's like that's not worth it. But it is cool that you are here. I may have to I hate villagers. I I really do. But I may have to look into using them in this mod pack. Because they seem pretty useful. I've already looted most of this village, I think. And there's all of that down there and that iron golem. So let's, unfortunately, let's just leave. Um, I say unfortunately, I'm pretty happy to leave these villagers alone. But what I wanted was some kind of string or something. Uh, oh, look at that. Lag spike. Like, does the water just keep going? It just keeps going. Alright. We. So I need to find a spot for mining. Probably over here? <coughs> Let me put away all of this. I want... Uh, Let's let's keep this. Oh, I need more torches. Okay. And I'll take that. And that'll do. So it's mining time. Is there any hammers? There are. Ah, great hammers. Bulk hammer. Wooden hammer. Hmm. I don't think those do what I want them to, though. Very. Oh, hi, water. Um. Sucks that you're here. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's... Oh, there was a cave system over here, actually. Now that I think about it. So I don't even have to... I can just come over here. There's that guy. Um, yeah, I can just come over here. There's a cave system. Totally forgot. Alright, so let's... Uh, it's always a good idea take down the gravel because ores could be hiding under gravel and gravel is just a large chunk of area that you can just dig up certain ores like diamond for example <coughs> sorry for that I've got some I'm, st I'm still just a little sick getting over a sickness but um diamond for example it actually has a higher unless I am mistaken if I remember correctly it actually has a higher chance to spawn if not um, exposed to air. So, like, diamond wouldn't be here, but it could be here because there was a block there. So, digging up gravel is just a good idea. Also, if you're underground, digging up dirt is also a good idea. Especially if you have something like vein miner. This cave sucks ass. Um, but especially if you have something like vein miner to where it's, it's pretty instant. On mining up the stuff. You never know what kind of ores you'll find from it. So, what my plan is today is I'm hoping, God damn it, at all the water. <clears throat> Sorry about that. 
there, there's a lot of water, and I get that I'm on an island. Maybe I should go to mainland. Uh, maybe I should go. Oh, there's some kind of something on the main map there, and just mine over there. Also, I totally didn't see this. What the fuck? I'll go over to the mainland. Apparently this island just has... No, it's it's another flooded cave. No, it's not. Oh god, that goes deep. Okay. Um. Okay, well I want that copper. So actually, what is copper used for? Do I want the copper? Copper ingot. It's used for copper upgrade. Okay, a kettle. Iron chest. Arcane ingot. Okay, but can I use any ingot? No, I have to use copper. Alright, well that alone, I don't even have to look further. That that alone gives me a reason to get copper. Copper is so useless in basic Minecraft. And, like, you can kind of use it for build. Okay, I thought that fell off the side. You can kind of use it for building. Yes. But, that goes really deep down there. That's a leg spike. Thankfully, however, I have water. <coughs> Give me one moment. It's like there's iron right there. That's going to be really useful. Uh, I, I really want that. Can I? No, okay. Didn't know cork was in this pack. Which, actually, I think it is. Maybe not. Then again, this mod pack doesn't have apple skin either. My hunger down there doesn't show extra information. Which is, I may modify this pack. Maybe. I do want to play it mostly accurate to what the mod creator wanted. But at the same time, this mod pack doesn't have some things. Like apple skin. I, will, I may add that. Because having more information on your hunger is great. But maybe it's not in because of reasons, like the upgrade section with all the hunger and stuff. Maybe it's not needed. I don't know. I just know I like being able to see my saturation. I think it's great. I think normal Minecraft should have it. I don't think saturation should be a hidden feature within basic Minecraft. It's really stupid. There's a lot of problems I have with basic Minecraft that are very very much solved with modded Minecraft, and maybe, just maybe, it is just, oh god, and I run towards the creeper, and also it did no damage, and also, ah, it's a scallop that's attacking me, no, please don't kill me, I don't want to die, I want to stay here and live, I wonder why it was attacking me, no, 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 why am I slow? Probably because I was really hurt and the slowness hasn't quite gone off yet. Uh, I may pause a few times, but it'll just be real quick for you. But uh, I'm going to hear my throat and stuff. Alright, I hate that I have to do that. But, like I said, that's what those, some of those noises were from the last episode. I'm hoping it goes away soon. When I meant goes away, when I said goes away soon, I, I didn't mean my pickaxe, to, truthfully. But that's okay. Uh, there's a reason. Little tip for you. If you're ever going around, always bring a stack of wood with you. Because you can get everything else you need in the mines. So, like, my pickaxe just broke. But I have a crafting table because I brought wood with me. And because I brought wood with me, I can grab a stick and stuff like that. But also, because I'm down in the mines should always keep a little bit of cobble on you so that you can make a furnace so that whenever your pickaxe breaks you can just immediately go to whatever next thing you need that was a stone pickaxe i got some iron i'm going to smelt the iron anyway i don't have a method of doubling the iron so i don't really care i do kind of care about uh inventory space so i probably won't let all of it smelt just so that the iron doesn't take up another slot in my inventory 
but there we go and then I just won't let that roll because I don't want more space taken up in the inventory there's also not a trash can button I that's another thing I might add I might add a trash can button uh, not button but a trash can slot I like to be able to just delete items without throwing them on the ground pebble we used to make cobble or rocky dirt like this I don't need this I would happily delete this instead of like yeah you could just throw it on the ground but then it's on the ground <coughs> as an entity on the ground and depending on your system that's not super great for you especially if you're throwing down a lot and stuff like that so we're gonna get rid of these two for yes it is a bit of a waste of fuel but i have a ton of coal and it's not like coal is going to be a problem moving forward so uh i did break while i was mining iron right here i hate how much water there is it's really irritating i I'm very irritated by this, but there is some more iron right there. Oh, look at that, a gem. I don't know what happened to the iron. I guess I mined it, question mark? Eh, it doesn't matter. Do you guys actually drop something now? Bats are cool in real life, but I hate them in Minecraft. Yeah, they kind of allow you to see where, like, caves are. But, like... I don't think that was their intended use whenever they were added. Can I please break this? Wallace crystal. Oh yeah, there's a whole questing thing. I'll deal with that once I get back home. Um, there's no need for me to deal with it right now. I mean, there might be some really good loot that I'll get that'll really help me, but... Uh, for now, I'm just mining all these gems. This is going to be a problem. I can already tell. This this is cool, but this is going to be an issue when mining for longer periods of time. See, like right here, here's some gravel. Get rid of this. It revealed water. Love to see it. Nothing. Is that a silverfish? Nothing. Okay. It's not always guaranteed. And you can always delete the gravel or keep it. Depending on what you're wanting to do. Just go ahead and get rid of that water. But. Then right here is some dirt. I'm hoping I find some lava. being very unlucky with my ores. Yeah. Ah. Lag spike. It revealed water. I ain't gonna lie, I may not do that. I may not. Oh, here we go. Here's some iron that got revealed just because I broke the dirt. Uh, and here's some more iron that I apparently missed. I am a little focused on trying to get the dirt to dirt and gravel to break, so I mean, something can be shown from it. So I don't look like a complete ass. Uh, I don't want to, I know there's more dirt and stuff that way, but I really don't want to go that way towards the water. A flawless gym. What does it do? Oh my god. Um. Draw speed, mining speed, dodge chance. Interesting. It does fill up your inventory, but if you have something like a trash slot, it don't matter. It could also reveal more caves like that. Even though that's not a cave I want to go through. I am so scared to find any dirt because of just how much fucking Oh, does that go that goes deeper down. Okay, so let's uh let's make a hole. Okay. Don't need that. Don't need that. Seashell. Apparently has no use. 
Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I don't know, I just know I hit you and nothing happened. So that leads me to believe that there's no use. If there is one, I'll find out later. This isn't Nautilus show. Oh, a bobber. An abyssal sacrifice. I didn't mean to click that. Okay. Oh, you're used for trident. Okay, well, I definitely want to keep you. And now my inventory is slightly less full. I would love to clear out that dirt to see what's behind it, but if I, I bet you, I bet you, I am too tiny. I am too short to do it. Oh yeah, I'm also probably gonna change the settings for uh for excavation to not have a limit on vein mining. I call it vein mining because vein miner, I believe, was the original mod for this. Oh my god, that goes deep. Uh, that goes real deep down there. Um, I can get down there. That's not that much of an issue. I want this copper. Lag spike. Yeah, I don't really like the lag spike. Thankfully. The fuck was that noise? Thankfully, because it is a single player world, when it does lag spike, I believe the game is paused. I believe. I hope. Oh, you can throw pebbles? Well, I have a new way to get rid of those bitches. I didn't mean to be standing on the. It's fine. One second. All right. What is that glowing? What is that? I I think I left it alone last time, but I'm fine with that because that just means that next time I go around. Oh, XP. Oh, is this XP? Careful. Or something. Alright, so it seems kind of useful. Yeah, I hear silverfish. At least that kind of sounds like silverfish. I don't know if it is, but it sounds like silverfish. Another tip for you when you're when you're caving and not these weird ass caves. Uh, always put your torches on the right side of the wall or the left. It doesn't really matter, truthfully, either one. Because if you put all your torches on the right side of the wall, then when you're trying to leave and you're trying to find your way out, you just follow the torches on the left side. Or vice versa, if you put them on the left side of the wall and you're trying to find your way out, you just follow the torches on the right side. And run out of torches, bring some wood. Some of you may be able to do quick maps, but if you want a stack of torches and you don't want to keep your inventory with sticks like this, uh, a stack of 16 torches will always give you 64 torches. from that. Interesting. Not everybody knows everything. So, little bits of knowledge here and there that if it helps somebody, then it helps somebody. And I'm happy to, I'm happy to hear it. Um, 
I don't want, oh, I have a new way to get rid of pebbles. I do want to keep, actually it doesn't matter if I keep cobblestone now that I have a furnace, but. as a cooldown. Also, that doesn't actually get rid of it. That's no fun. Uh, flint, what can flint be used for? Fletching table, arrow, flint knife. A warp plate. Book of lore. A fletching table again. Got the flint knife. Oh, the fletching table actually has a use. Oh, and that gives you six. Interesting. Too bad I'm not going to be doing any kind of range things. So it looks like flint is on the table. Yes, I can trade it with villagers, but yet again, I hate villagers, so I most likely won't. Unless I set up a system for them. And then if I set up a system for them, I'm most likely just going to trade with Fletchers. To try and get, if they have that trade still in the game. But to try and get all of the, uh, the emeralds that way. You think you can trade Flint? I don't know, I'm no village expert. I ain't gonna lie. They may or may not have such a thing. I think they do. Hold on. I hate that I have to do it so often. Um. Looks like an arrow on the theme map, but actually it's just lava expanding. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to go into Oryx completion settings and change up the max limit. Unless I can do. I don't have cheats. At least I don't think I do. I think I do. Yeah, because I had to turn on keep inventory. So, let's see. Oops. I don't know. It's fine. I'll just do it through the config layer. Because I don't like... Like, there's this big, large thing. I know what I'm doing. It's... I'm not going to... Oh, seems like... I'm not going to just mine out entire large areas of stone, even though I could, I'm not going to do that. In other series, not series, in other mod packs, whenever I'm playing just for whatever, uh, I, I have done it. It's a great way to mine and clear out large, whoa, super large chunks of area. But I'm not going to do it in a mod pack like this, where, give me that coal, cop, uh, copper. I can't e I don't even know what it is. I can't pick it up. Okay, there's some lava right here, so let's get rid of some stuff. Get rid of gravel and dirt. Cobblestone. Dirt. Pebbles. Yeah, this is going to be a problem as far as inventory management. I can feel it. Like, there's iron here, but I really want to get rid of this water first. I don't even know how it's seen. I need this. Oh god, that, that's another hole. There we go. That's broke. Because I have some wood. That's not at all I want. Alright. So much copper. Sure hope that one stuff is useful. Is copper useful for anything else? <laughs> Grave metal ingot. Hummingbird feeder. Diving helmet. Salvaging table. Flimsy journal. Slowness upgrade. Grappling hook. Brush, spyglass, copper nugget, copper 
furnace, uncommon ink. Interesting. Ah. Uh, it looks like I can't make tools out of it, which is really unfortunate. Uh, last video got copyrighted for the music, but thankfully for me, the person who made the music is fine with it being used. Uh, if it becomes a problem, as far as like there's a song in here that's not, a song in the, uh, the playlist of this mod pack that's not okay with being publicly used, then first of all, uh, why developer and second of all um not developer of the song developer of the mod pack and second of all uh i'll just turn off the music entirely i oh no i blame that on the leg spike uh, I would like to stop burning. Alright. I hate how much of the screen fire takes up. Like, I get it's supposed to be fire bad, right? And it's supposed to, like, be debilitating. But at the same time, it doesn't have to be that. so much copper. It's a shame I can't make tools out of it. That's one thing. Why like I, I get that there's iron and stuff, but you could totally make like copper tools and give them a use. I mean maybe maybe they too are like enchantable because like different tools have a different enchantability stuff. Gold for example in basic Minecraft. Non modded, just basic Minecraft. Gold has a better cha has better enchantability <coughs> than diamond and stuff, but it's it breaks so easily. That's the one. That's I think, if I remember correctly, they did that to try and give gold some kind of use because gold tools are decent, right? As far as like mining speed, if you want to clear out a giant area. The only better tool is an enchanted netherite pickaxe. As far as speed. But gold tools break so so easily. I think it would be cool to kind of expand upon the gold tools, give them something. But they just get left in the dust by every other tool in the game. And it seems like a shame. That's why I like modded, to be honest. There's a lot of things about basic Minecraft I don't like. There's a lot of things that could be done better. And it's just, I get real bored with basic Minecraft. And maybe it's because, truthfully, to be completely 100% transparent with you guys, I... I started my Minecraft journey pretty much. I came out the womb playing modded. Um, kind of. Because I played basic Minecraft at first. I played it back whenever it was uh, the, the just building on the net. On the internet. You had the I don't think it was Flash. It might have been using the flash player. I don't think it was though. But it, it just you just played it online on the website and you could build whatever and you had creative and the world was super there wasn't like survival or nothing. And then I, I followed along with that and then once the modding community really popped up, I'm gonna start heading back up to the surface again. Now there's two ways I could do this. I'll continue my one sentence in just a second. Uh, there's two ways I could do this. I could, uh, this is why, I'll, I'll show you, I, 
I could waste all the time to go up all the way up, find my way up, or Well bam, I'm home. Time saving. If it is voted that this is that this isn't cool and, and you guys don't want me to have keep inventory so that I don't I can't do this, then you know, I'll I'll happily turn it off. I don't mind. I don't mind it. Um, but anyways, there's so many of these things. I'm gonna have to make a chest just for these. Uh, as soon as the modding community started really kicking off, what? I think it was even before. I think it was before the. Uh, I don't think it was alpha. I think it was beta. Maybe it was beta. I don't know. It's been forever. As soon as that started kicking off, I'm taking a drink. So, uh. I really started playing with that. I remember the original build craft when that uh, that was powered with redstone ticks rather than the engines that we have now. Not that build craft is really used a whole lot in the mod packs nowadays, from what I can see. Uh, I remember the original red power. I remember the original feed the beast mod pack there was a feed the beast pack that was a map that it was a giant it was skyblock it was the i think if if i remember correctly it was the first ever genuine skyblock and you went and like it had quests it did it didn't have a questing mod pack or well not mod pack it didn't have a questing mod or anything like that speaking of which this. It didn't have this or anything. It had a giant pyramid that you had to build to that <coughs> had spots you could drop items in, you could plug uh, wires into all that, and you could get you would get stuff from it because it would open up a door somewhere on the pyramid that you had to go run into and grab the items out of and it was really cool um i would totally play it again if i could find it but the problem is finding it orb of origins i probably should have went through that what does this do oh fuck no i i i oh my god i can change my fucking thing what did this even do you gain two more wooden planks. So what? Whenever... But I was getting four. Did they nerf everyone else? Instead of... It's a little dumb. Um... Miner... Uh... Cook... I may pick this. Equipment you create provide small bonus. Doesn't sound too bad. Cleric, potions, merchant... I don't remember a lot of these. Able to use each weapon. You know what? We're going to go with this one. So now my weapons do more damage. Because I'm a very combat oriented person. But yeah, I would totally play it if I could find it. But it's difficult to find that one. I remember a long time ago, whenever you wanted to do modded mine... Bacon and eggs. Okay, this is some good food. Whenever you wanted to do modded Minecraft, what you had to do... Is you had to actually place the files into the uh I need more furnaces. But also Do I even want to upgrade or should I just skip right to iron? I think I should just skip right to iron, unless I can't. Hold on. At iron furnaces. Can I skip right to I can't. Okay, I can just skip right to iron. That's one of the problems with having this kind of stuff as an intermediary when it comes to like these upgrades like iron chest suffers from the same problem iron chest suffers from the same issue that yeah i could make a copper chest it's a thing i could do or instead of making a copper chest i could go straight to iron and yeah it takes the less iron if i go from copper to iron for less but at the same time I have a whole bunch of iron, and I'm only going to get more when I go mining, and iron is not, like, rare or anything, so it's like, 
why would I ever bother with the copper chest? Why would I ever bother with the uh, the copper furnace? But anyway, you had to like take the actual <laughs> sorry, you had to actually take the actual game apart, go into the game files, place the mod files manually into the game itself. It was it was you had to, it was a lot it was a lot and now you just click a button and it happens, which is really really cool. I don't think I really need to smelt copper right this moment. I think iron is more important at the moment. And then as soon as this is done, I can go ahead. How long have I been recording for? 41 minutes. Damn, I've already been recording for 41 minutes. These episodes feel like they go on for like no time at all, but they really go on for like a long time. I wanted to make these <coughs> like kind of short 30 minute episodes that's a chest upgrade <laughs> <laughs> I done made the wrong thing but I keep it's okay I can kind of edit it down but what I'm gonna do is we went mining progress is slow on these to be honest I think I want this yeah Oh, it just spits everything out, huh? I thought it would keep everything. Can I not? Okay. Just lagging a bit. Um, I got some things. Uh, here's a question. Do I uh, buy a skill point? Aha! Nice. Wait. Okay, so I have one more. I can't get that one. Erg, I should have went with that one. It's fine. <laughs> that hurts. That hurts a lot. Um, I guess I'll start going this way so I can get the life per hit. And then... I'll just have to make my way around. It's going to take forever, and I... Erg. Uh, I should have figured it. In hindsight, I should have figured. Should have figured. I'll um. Here's what I'll do. I'll ask you guys. Uh, would you be opposed if I tried to figure out a way to reset to not have these, and instead, I'd probably go with this one. So take my points out of these and go with this. I don't mind. Have, like I do kind of mind it, but I will go through and go all the way around. But, yeah, uh, tell me in the comments, do you, what do you think? Um, I think that I'm a little upset that this episode has gone on for so long. That's what I think. But, I we didn't really get a whole lot done. I could edit out the mining, but at the same time, I don't really want to. Uh, maybe, maybe next time, when I go mining... I'll edit a lot of the exploration out. Unless, of course, I don't know, I'll, yet again, that's another question for you guys. Should I edit out the mining, or should I leave it in? Let me know. Um, but for now, this is, this is the end of the episode. So, I hope you enjoyed. I got a little bit done, not as much as I wanted to get done. Uh, progress is very slow, but you know, it, it'd be slow in the beginning episodes, so. Anyways, thank you for watching. Goodbye.